Uh, India's coronavirus infections and deaths have held close to record daily highs. Increase in calls for the government of Prime Minister Narendra Modi to lock down the world's second most populous country. Police in Bangalore patrolled the streets on Monday, stopping vehicles, ecking IDs and even herding and wrecking lockdown violators. Many states across India have imposed their own lockdown rules to curb the spread of the coronavirus. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is yet to announce a nationwide lockdown despite mounting calls for one. India reported 3,754 deaths on Monday. That's down slightly from peak numbers reported the day before, though some experts say actual figures could be far higher. On Monday, U.S. company Eli Lilly & Co. said it signed licensing deals with Indian drug makers to make and sell its arthritis drug, baricitinib, for the treatment of COVID patients. Meanwhile, medical relief continued to pour in from other countries around the world. Crowds of people queued to get vaccines at a center in Punjab, but calls for social distancing went out the window. Dr. Jasmine is the center manager. We the police to maintain social distance, maintain karne ke, but uh, people are, they are not listening to us. And we are saying continuously from the morning that please social distancing maintain karo. India is the world's largest vaccine producing nation, with the Serum Institute of India having mass produced the AstraZeneca vaccine. But as of Sunday, the country had fully vaccinated just 2.5% of its population, over 34.3 million people, according to government data. <laughs> Delhi's health minister said his city was running out of vaccines, the NDTV news channel reported, saying they have just three to four days of supplies of AstraZeneca's vaccine remaining. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.